Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and I have another guest design team project to share with you and it's uh, for Pion Design and that is a Swedish uh, company and I will put the link here below to the website where you can find the store finder and also a lot of inspiration and I will also post the link to Pinterest below the video so there you can also find a lot of uh, pictures of the papers and uh, uh, projects made with them. I had an old lamp that didn't uh, fit in anymore so I decided to give it a, a makeover and uh, this was uh, a sort of a brown or a, a brown uh, gold uh, metal lamp and it had a brown lampshade on here so I changed it uh, all the lamp here and um, I can maybe show you a bit here. I used uh, this one and this I got from uh, a company that is called uh, Schleides Taljer and uh, they do ship uh, to some countries in Europe and I will put the link below and I'm sure you can find it in a lamp shop or anything if you like to do it. And then I went all over here with um, seam binding just so it won't slide and then I took some seam binding and um, show you a bit here. Just went around all the way and over each other. So it's bad lighting here. Maybe I should turn off the lamp. So over like so. So and just glued it on the back. So I think I will turn it off. Maybe it shows up better. <laughs> Like so. And uh, the image here is uh, from um, uh, this paper from uh, Pion Design. It's from Grandma's Attic Tinted and it's a uh, bouquet. So there are a lot of uh, beautiful images here, yes, here. And I used uh, most of them up, as you see. So, and uh, this image here, uh, I didn't want to, uh, to use uh, paper uh, because it's a uh, lampshade and it's getting ho uh, hot. So I did uh, copy it in on this uh, printable, uh, perfect for photo projects, and it's fabric sheets. Sorry for the glare here. Maybe you can see it here. So um, that was uh, the image on the front here, and she's really beautiful. It's a table here and some flowers, and uh, really vintage. And. Um, here I have some laces that I got from my friend Linda, so thank you so much Linda, it was really perfect for this uh, lampshade. And uh, on the top here I have a seam binding uh, that I uh, made a bow with my sutter bow it all. And uh, I coffee stained it and just crimpled it up when it uh, was wet. And I cut out this uh, flower here from uh, a lace I have and uh, a pearl uh, flower in the middle here and um, maybe give you a bit more close-up around here so here you can see the lampshade and um, here is some flat back uh, pearls from Wild Oak Crafts and lace uh, from my stash and uh, under here is uh, lace from Annie's uh, blog, no uh, Etsy shop so I will link to her shop below, she has a lot of beautiful laces so just give you a round. I didn't decorate any more than on the front. I thought this was enough. So then I can maybe uh, show, I can take this off and um, show you a bit here. So all the lamp I uh, painted white and then I went over with uh, this Inca gold here. So just took it on my fingers and randomly I went around. And uh, inside here I took all the uh, lamp apart and uh, here I have some uh, a gold leaf. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called. It's uh, gold small flakes or something. And some snow and some glitter and I mixed a lot of things together here. Just to make it a bit shabby chic looking. So uh, this was a really fast and uh, fun uh, project and uh, it was really fun to make. So I think I will do with that with uh, some other lamps I have as well. 
So I uh, hope it was a bit inspiring and that you want to give it a try and uh, if you do a redo uh, lamp you can maybe leave a comment below and would uh, love to see it. So thank you so much for watching everyone and have fun creating. Take care. Bye bye.